Movie vehicles. Who doesn't like a nice movie or TV vehicle? I certainly do, and I'm not beyond picking up the odd one or two. So I had a question posed to me in one of my comments, and it's brought me to this video. So let's get into it. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome to, well, my movie vehicle collection. So, as I said, I had a comment from Sean Dodd, so thank you for this comment, asking me if I had a movie vehicle collection. And it got me thinking that even though I've shown as I've gone along and things like this, I don't think I've ever done a comprehensive video on all of my movie vehicles. Um... And so that brings me to this and filming this. Now, um, I could sit here and sort of say, oh, I've got this one, I've got this one. But I'm not going to do that. That would be a bit too much like hard work for me. So I'm going to freehand the camera and I'll go to the stuff that I've got in the room and show it like that. Maybe a couple I will show holding up. Now, movie vehicles, where does it end? Are we talking about vehicles that, you know, are sort of, road driven things like that or do we step into the realm of space vehicles as well star wars star trek well i didn't know where to cut this off at so i'm not gonna i've got a few star wars and star trek bits so we'll show them as well at the same time and just to cover everything and why not so where to begin i don't really know where to begin so let me begin behind me let me adjust the camera freehand it and we shall take a look at what i have let's do it okay so going around the shelves is it's like i said it's far easier like this now over here i have a number of playmobil vehicles first off we have here kit from knight rider and Yes, it does have a red glowing thing at the front. Characters are in. I'm not going to take it apart. So that's the Playmobil vehicle for Kit. And then we have the Playmobil Back to the Future car here. Um, Doc and Marty are sat within, as you can see. And it does have a... Um, it does have a light function on it as well, like so. Um, as you can see, Playmobil do do some decent um, vehicles. And Playmobil again, we have the Aston Martin from James Bond here. Um, the roof does come off. Um, this part does. It's got an ejector seat, things like that. Um, I know the front's come out. This has working components to it, but I'm not going to get into all of that. Now, moving along, we have the Ghostbusters um, car. Now, this is the one from Ghostbusters 2. Um, as you can see, noise and lights up. Fantastic. Now, with this one, um, there were several Ghostbuster vehicles available. You can get the one with the female Ghostbusters. I believe you can get one from Ghostbusters 1 as well. Um, I just went with what was the cheapest. So it was Ghostbusters 2-1. Um, I just wanted a Ghostbusters car. I didn't care what film it came from. Then we have the van from the A-Team. Mr. T in the front and Hannibal Smith there. The other characters are in the back. The roof comes off, but there's a lot of crap thrown into it. Um, I sort of house additional figures and that that came with the other sets in there. It just sort of keeps them out of the way. And then from Jada Toys, we move over here and we have the, um, is this a Chevrolet or something like that? Uh, uh, I'm not very good with cars, I'm not a car person. But this is from 
the Nightmare on Elm Street. The car at the end of the very first Elm Street film where the roof comes up and it's coloured like Freddy. And I'm guessing that's Nancy in the seat there. Um, the boot and the front does open up. That's from Jada, did I say? I think that's from Jada Toys or something like that. Yes, it's there. I've got a few of them. They're obviously a different size to, well, some of the Hot Wheels ones, the larger Hot Wheels one they used to do. So moving around here, I do have two vehicles from Tron Legacy, two of the speed bikes. Okay, so let's go around the room. So up here, I have a very large Imperial, well, no, it's a First Order TIE Fighter, not an Imperial TIE Fighter. There is a pilot within somewhere. I don't know if you can see it. He is in there somewhere. But yes, that's very large, as you can see, my hand on it. It's a huge, huge um, toy from Black Series. So moving around again, here we do have a USS Enterprise Playmobil. And this here does, if I can get the side opened. Hold on one sec. So I've taken the side off. You can see the interiors there. There's a button to get it working and it lights up and stuff like that um, big piece very big huge in fact I mean that's my hand in comparison to it and then I have a Klingon bird of prey there that does also have certain light functions and stuff on it as well that's hanging there but also hanging is the Millennium Falcon, the model of the Millennium Falcon that I built some time ago. It's just a clip together one. Um, and there's the dice from that hangs inside. So I have that hanging as well. Okay, carried on round. I do have a Hot Wheels um, USS Enterprise there. Little one, you know, like a little Hot Wheels packet. Then I have the NX-01 which is from Star Trek Enterprise and a smaller version of it there as well. Um, NCC 1701D, Next Generation Enterprise, and also there a little version of the Voyager. A little Millennium Falcon. This is from The Force Awakens, you can tell because it's got the square radar dish. And the little Hot Wheels, um, um batwing type thing from batman um dark knight rises one that he goes and where he supposedly blows himself up and then we have another millennium falcon here i've got a few millennium falcons i don't know if a power loader it's not really a vehicle but it's a working vehicle i suppose i could sort of, sort of in include that i suppose then we have the uss defiant there, like so, little one. And this is the, I forget the name of the vessel, from Star Trek Into Darkness, the big one that was there. And then we have a smaller Klingon bird of prey. Now, these are the Collect Eagle Moss Collection, and I do have more Eagle Moss Collection um, vehicles, but they're all upstairs in the loft. Um, they're moving down. I don't know if Optimus Prime counts, but there we go. And we have here a um, Starbuck from Red the Wolf. Okay, so moving round, this is where we get quite a few of them, and this is why I wanted to do it um, by hand. And yeah, and I'll show, I'll show you why. Because on the wall over here, I've got to move all these lightsabers out of the way. I've got Force Effects lightsabers everywhere. So we'll get them. Some of them are not mine. So on the wall here, um, I have a fair few vehicles. So here we have a little Batmobile that's sort of, you know, kiddified, so to speak, a little condensed and cartoony, and another one of a varying colour. Then we have this Batmobile as well. I have a load of different... This is a game Batmobile, I believe. And then we have... This one here, another variation of the Batmobile, and the classic original Batmobile. 
and the Adam West. Then I also have one of those in a gold colouring with purple tinted windows. Um, this is the car from The Batman, the more recent movie. Uh, that's that one. And another variation in colour of that very car. Now moving down, I have a concept car there of Kit um, from Knight Rider. And then we have a, another variation of the Knight Rider car, which was later on in the series when it had the Super Pursuit mode. As you can see, where it all sort of lifted up and bits came out and that sort of thing. I have, comic-wise, I have a Punisher van. His battle wagon, as he used to call it, or whatever it was. The comics did have that in it. And then we have a little um, trucky type thing there with Punisher on the side. Early image of the Punisher and a Punisher-esque car. And then dropping down, I picked these up for £6 each. Star Wars TIE Fighter there, Hot Wheels ships, and um, the TIE Striker. I picked these up in the Isle of Wight in a shop that was selling them cheap. So that's that. I do have some more Hot Wheels. We'll come back to that in a minute. Now, over here, I have a car from Back to the Future 2. These are Jada cars, and yes, that one lights up. The wheels move. And I have the car from Back to the Future Part 3. Um, and then I have a very dusty looking um, Last of the V8 Interceptors from Mad Max. Which then brings me to that one there, which is a clean version of the same car. The V8 Interceptor Mad Max. And here we have um, Rob Pattinson's Batmobile. Again, these are from Jada. I believe all of them. And we have kit there from Knight Rider and again this one does it's a bit dusty and I can't remember how but oh, I open the door when you open the driver's side door you get the red um, yeah the, the light up here now I do have some other, like I said, some other Hot Wheels. <coughs> These just haven't been placed on the wall yet. So we have here um, a white version of the 1989 um, Michael Keaton, Tim Burton Batmobile. Another Hot Wheels one here, which is the Batmobile from um, Justice League. This one is George Clooney's Batmobile, Batman and Robin. It's quite nice to be able to get that. Um, I believe that's the same variation of one that I had over there, maybe a different colour into it. I'm not sure, I'd have to go back and have a look. Then I have another Batman 1989 Batmobile with a different colour in. Like that. And from Batman Forever, um, Val Kilmer's Batmobile, um, this is this one here. Not black though, it's like silvery, grey, grey sort of colour to that one. Um, and then I have a purple coloured um, Batmobile of the... Um, the one from the TV show. Um, yeah. As you can see. That's good. The Batman the Animated Series. That's what I was looking for. That I couldn't get to. Um, and then I have two doubles here. Um, because generally, when you buy Hot Wheels cars in like the Entertainer, they have free for X amount of money, so it, you might as well pick up a, a, an additional one. So I picked up two spare ones there. Um, they'll go to I know one of my grandchildren that would appreciate one of well, both of them most certainly as a toy to play with, and why not? I have a two foot long Lego 
989 Batmobile, like so. And a toy version which is unopened. And this is again about a two foot, 60 centimeters. Um, this came about from the Flash movie and came from McFarlane Toys. So there's that one also. So brings you on to the next bit. And this is a larger version of the Batmobile from the animated series with a little Batman in there as well. This was kindly gifted to me by Chris over at Cypher Sigma Screen Time and Cypher Sigma Toys. He sent me this one my way. Um, yeah, lovely, lovely. I like that a lot. Fantastic. A few more to go yet. So next up. So I'll just keep an eye on the dog there, see what she was running out with. So I have these. These were away. I've put these away. So we'll have a look now. Um, we have the Justice League, Batmobile and Batman there. As you can see, give me one second. Okay, so I'm oh, sorry, got interrupted there. But yeah, so what else do I have? I have here um, the Tumblr. From here, these came from um, collections that you could buy like on a monthly basis different vehicles I didn't get many of them only the ones that well that I wanted another version of the um, 1990, 1992 animated series Batmobile there That there again is um, Batman Forever, Batmobile, Val Kilmer. The George Clooney, 1997 Batman and Robin, which I quite like. I like that one. I prefer it to the Val Kilmer one. What I didn't like about the Val Kilmer one was in the film, they were like, the fins were, they just look, looked, they were shaking. Then we have the classic Adam West, which is always a great Batmobile, really is. Classic vehicle. And last but most certainly not least from this um, range is the 1989 um, Michael Keaton, Tim Burton movies Batmobile, which is, you know, see I've got that several times over. So the collection doesn't end there. Now I've got to go downstairs into my front room because I do have a cabinet on the wall and I have a couple of items on display in that. So if you'll join me, we'll go down there and take a look. So I'm in the front room at the moment in my lounge and I do have a cabinet on the wall that houses um, several vehicles so we'll take a look at them now as well as you can see here let me open it up um, I do have a back to the future DeLorean again um, nice big one um, I'm not sure who these are made by but yeah Sunstar um, now on this vehicle it obviously it has opening rolling doors and I do believe that yes the the front of the car um, which would be the boot space of the car opens as well then we have a um, tumbler um, which I don't know is that a Hot Wheels that's a Hot Wheels tumbler yes most definitely nothing opens or anything on that but yeah, and then we have the Batmobile from 1989. Um, again, that is a Hot Wheels Batmobile. That one has a sliding canopy and also the machine guns spin around and come out of the body of the car. So just to 
Um, I've got there a USS Enterprise from the Kelvin Timeline Star Trek. That's from Star Trek Beyond, and I have the space station for Deep Space Nine up there. As you can see, and that's just one of them little metalwork things. Um, and a gold Rolo. And unbuilt at the moment, I say at the moment, I have a the Batman Batmobile. I picked this up in Tesco's over a year ago. It was on club card price. I got it for a fantastic cost. Um, but like my other Lego bits and pieces, I've not got around to the build yet. So hopefully one day that will happen. All right, so I thought I was at an end. I did, honestly. I thought I'd be coming back from downstairs and saying to you, okay, folks, that's the end of the... Um, the end of, of the video. However, it's not because over here and still boxed, I do have the full Taurus, which is from obviously from the movie Robocop, his police car. Again, this is one that comes at us from Jada Toys. Um, they do a lot of great looking cars smaller than the big Hot Wheels ones I just showed you like the Batmobile and the DeLorean um, that was downstairs but nonetheless you know Robocop car lovely can't go wrong with that so that there does bring us to the end of um, my movie vehicles collection so again thank you to Sean for the message for the question that inspired me to do this video and I hope you enjoyed that little look around at yeah what, what vehicles I have so do you have any let me know in the comments down below and I'll see you on the next one take care all and goodbye